Hi guys and welcome to Soul Pump Fitness. Today we have an amazing workout to share with you. What we need from you is you, something to take your time and a stability ball. Let's go. So beautiful people, something to take your time. Six exercises, 30 seconds each. Let's start with our first one. Awesome. So guys, our first one, we're gonna put the ball in the wall. We're gonna kind of lean towards it. And we're just gonna do mountain climbing. Now notice when one leg leaving the floor, stable the hip. Don't collapse to any side. You stay in a plank position with your body and you just bring it towards the chest, towards the ball, whatever you can. If you wanna increase the speed, fantastic with me. Just keep the stability of the torso. Two more. Three, two, one, awesome. Balance on the ball with one leg. So one leg gonna give us one leg squat, and the other leg just gonna reach back. So it's your call how much of your body weight wanna touch the ball. You wanna squat, let me be more, that's it, as deep as I can. Use the ball, feel the quads of the leg that's in the air. You lift yourself up, squeeze this quad, squeeze this glutes of the standing leg. Of course, you're gonna do the other side as well. Going up, again, work on your balance, work on your stability, while you're working on your balance, just take your time, no rush. Beautiful. And let's move out to our third one. My belt is gonna be on the ball. What I'm gonna ask you to do, just lift your legs up. Slowly bring it down. You can have a small break here. Bring it up as much as you can. Feel your lower back. If you're lifting it too much and it's compression the lower back, just don't go so high, guys. Whatever you feel, walk with what you feel. It's a fantastic exercise to activate the lower back, the hamstring, the glutes. Try to stable the torso, that's a moving space. So notice that you stay in balance. One more. Awesome. Let's move towards our fourth one. One option, the ball by the wall. Another option, the wall in the middle of the room. Okay? So you always have to do it by the wall. So I have more, more stability. And from here, I'm just going to do my mountain climber the other way. One, that's two, and stable yourself from one leg leaving the ball. Don't move all around. This way you have the, the ball. Press it against the wall. Take advantage of the wall. A few more here. Feel. This is too challenging, guys. You can maybe just hold the plank. But start somewhere. It's a short amount of time of plank. Then if this is feel safe, you do this. Our fifth one will be where you put the ball by the wall and we're just gonna squat. Now we're gonna take advantage of the ball to sink deeply as much as we can. Usually I will not be able to do it in the middle of the room, but you, I have the ball behind me, it's giving the opportunity to sink deeper and lean towards something. So deep as you can, it's comfortable on the knees, on the ankle. It's super cool with the ball. That's how we're gonna start our plan with, to kind of be an educator about the hip and about the squat. Two, one, awesome. Last one for the end. Balance on the ball. You always can use the wall, guys. You always can use a friend, whatever you need, please. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna balance ourselves on the ball. So I'm not sitting on the ball. Some people will do this, some people will do that. What I want from you is you just balancing on it. And you do your best, use your pelvic floor, use the inner thigh muscle to squeeze. And if it's moving, it's fantastic, move with it. Your hands can do whatever you want. In the future, when you get super awesome in it, you can toss an object towards the wall and back to you. You see, when I came back, I used my foot, kind of like a kickstand and a bicycle. And that's it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. One love, please subscribe to our channel and let us know what you want to see so we can grow our video content. Have an awesome life.